Okay, we're all going to be civil this time, right? Yeah, if Watermelon can even handle being civil for once. Oh, I can be civil, it's just that you picked cherry of all flavors, so I just kind of had to interject. Okay, so this time it's the best Nintendo franchise, so uh, who wants to go first? Uh, I'll go first this time. Mm. My favorite Nintendo franchise is uh, The Legend of Zelda. For me, I've got to go with Fire Emblem. I love Animal Crossing. Gotta love me some good old Mario. Uh, it's Pokemon for me. Oh wow, Orange, I didn't know you had it in you to pick something so good. Well, here we go again. Coming from the person who picked Mario of all franchises, I was expecting you to pick Splatoon because you love ink, don't you? And you love getting it everywhere. Orange, shut up. It's not like you had a basic choice either, okay? Pokemon's good, but like, it's so overrated. Stop acting like Mario isn't overrated either, okay? It gets so much. Okay, Pokemon fans get barely nothing nowadays, okay? We have to wait until, like, fall and winter for Scarlet and Violet DLC. Oh yeah? And what do Mario fans get, hmm? Oh, I don't know. Maybe get, they get, like, a whole movie with Jack Black as Bowser, okay? And Pokemon fans got the Detective Pikachu movie. Nobody was asking for a Detective Pikachu movie. I would have preferred, like, a movie with Ash Ketchum in real life. Like, like, come on. Ash Ketchum leaving the anime was one of the saddest things that happened in human history. Okay, and? The Pokemon franchise has no voice acting. At all. Oh wait, I forgot. The one bit of voice acting it did have was from Ed Sheeran at the end of Scarlet and Violet. Keep Ed Sheeran's name out of this. Okay, I don't want to hear you talking when you're probably playing Pokemon Smasher Pass. Okay, so maybe I am. Or maybe I'm playing better games like Mario. Watermelon, shut up. You are one of those people to come in on someone and see them playing video games and say something like, Oh, are you playing on the Nintendo? I know all the Nintendo console names, okay? You don't have to, like, stereotype me like that. Guys, can you let some of us share, please? I don't want to hear you talking when you picked Fire Emblem. That's not real Nintendo. Shut up, you literally picked Mario. Okay, you guys have nothing on The Legend of Zelda, okay? I'd like to see you roast it. You want to talk about Zelda? Okay, okay. Tears of Kingdom, 2022, huh? That certainly got pushed back. Talk about Nintendo not keeping their promises. Hey, shut the hell up. It's coming later this year, and I'm sure it's going to be great. Yeah, we'll see how it holds up when you have to pay $70 for it. Okay, so maybe it does cost $10 more than an average Switch game, but that just means it's better. That just means it's better, you know? Huh, weird. If that was the case, if we're going off if games are good or not, then Animal Crossing New Horizons should have been $120. Yeah. Prices do mean if the game's good or not. That's why Animal Crossing New Horizons was $60. Because it was a bad game. You guys are just jealous because Animal Crossing is the only one to get a mobile game. Uh, not true. Fire Emblem Heroes. Uh, Super Mario Run and Mario Kart Tour. Uh, Pokemon Unite. Pokemon Go. Pokemon Masters EX. Pokemon Quest. Uh, Pokemon Cafe Remix. I think you're missing a lot there. Pokemon Magikarp Jump? Yeah, you're, you're definitely missing some there, huh? Okay, so maybe I missed a few, but, like, none of them were really that popular. Pokemon Go was literally the craze of 2016. I do not see you talking when I can't even remember what the mobile game for Animal Crossing is even called. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be talking. Yeah, the adults are talking now. Orange, you're the youngest out of all of us, you know that, right? All of us are adults except you two, and Buttercup is close to being an adult. So you're the last one to become one, so you should not be talking. Shut up, Cigarette. No one asked. Oh, is that the only comeback you're going to have? No one asked? Yeah, that's, that's such a good comeback, man. Guys, let's get back on topic. So, uh, Bacon, how do you get into Fire Emblem? Oh, well, funny you mention that. Um, uh, because of Smash Bros, I just found out about the series, and- Well, you should have never gotten into it, because that game sucks so much. Oh, shut up, Orange. At least my games aren't released unfinished. Okay, so let's talk about how we got into these games. Um, well, well, I just saw Isabel when she came out for Smash, and, uh, I- I played Pocket Camp, and then New Horizons, and then a lot of the other Animal Crossing ones, and, uh, yeah, that's it. Well, I don't know. How did I get into Mario? Uh, nah, genuine question. I never played a Mario game until I was with this one guy. Uh, we were over at his place, you know, doing the deed, and, uh, afterwards he played a Mario game, like, I think it was, like, Mario Party, and he asked me if I wanted to play, so I did, and, uh, I, I kicked his ass. Well, my now boyfriend got me into Pokemon a few years back when we were kids, so, 
you know, uh, my first game was uh, Heart Gold, and ever since then, I've loved the game. Oh, well, back like uh, 10 years ago, my family had a, had an NES, and they had The Legend of Zelda, and everyone in our family would play until they beat the game, and I was pretty skilled at it. I was like third to beat it, so that was pretty good. Oh, I know. How about now we say our favorite character from the franchise? Gotta go with my girl, Lucina. I personally like Isabella and Anka myself. Yeah, of course you'd like Anka. Anyways, my favorite characters are Peach, Daisy, Bowser, and uh, Rosalina. Oh, and um, Wendy Koopa, specifically that one. Of course you pick the hot girls and then Bowser, you know, the one with the... Anyways, my favorite character in the Pokemon franchise is Ash Ketchum. I gotta go with Zelda myself. Which one, Cigarette? Zelda or the Legend of? His name is Link, damn it. And, I mean, the Princess Zelda. So we're not just gonna act like, you know, Zelda didn't steal Mario's plot. The princess gets kidnapped and is in another castle by the baddest bad guy of the game. Shut up, Watermelon. Do you really want me to bring up Doki Doki Panic? Shut up, Cigarette. Hey, wait a minute, Orange. Didn't you say your boyfriend now got you into Pokemon? Yeah, why? Well, you've never told us who your boyfriend is. You just say, you're my boyfriend. You don't actually say who they are. Oh, right. I haven't told you guys yet. My boyfriend is- And that's all the time we have for today. Join us next time where we talk about the best Oros contestant that isn't one of us. See you guys next time. Oh, come on!